This support to Skilling Uganda program aims to Hey, you might want to put your phone down. Believe me, you will want to hear this. The SSC program aims to increase employability of youth with special attention to girls through better quality of instruction and learning in skilling. It does so by making technical and vocational education more responsive to labor market needs, providing career guidance, and promoting employment and work-based learning. Another project, I hear you think. Not quite. Take a look at what we've achieved so far. Between 2015 and 2020, SSU trained almost 11,000 trainees. Talking about impact, huh? Wait, it gets better. Over 70% of trainees are youth, women and girls, young mothers, refugees, and school dropouts. So how did we reach all those trainees? The answer is simple. By doing something different, we focused on an innovative and human-centered training approach offering courses tailored to emerging market sectors and designing short courses that meet the needs of trainees, many of whom are young mothers. We also created a safe learning environment for students and staff and secured decent working conditions for quality work-based learning, where the private sector has become a crucial partner. Pretty amazing, right? Thirdly, with a view on sustainability, we used green architecture to improve VTI infrastructure, creating a conducive learning environment for students, brick by brick. And that's not all. Because what would a vocational training be without tools and equipment, environmental-friendly energy supplies, and separate modern dormitories for boys and girls? Also, have you ever heard of a pad incinerator? We built that too with the help of students. So what happens after graduation day? Are those graduates going right into unemployment? Nope. Tracer studies reveal that no less than seven out of 10 graduates find employment or become entrepreneurs within six months after graduation. The economic integration of youth after work-based training made two out of three graduates more hopeful towards the future. With an improved disposable income, we are steadily leading people out of poverty. People like Sharifa, who after enrolling in a short training in welding, was able to finally secure a job at a welding enterprise in a rural town. This helped her to earn money to take care of her mother and siblings. Or people like Helen, a young mother who could enroll in a training because it was held close to her community in Amudat in Karamoja. The training with experts in their workshops allowed her to meet potential customers. With this short tailoring training, she has been able to sew and sell clothes and African travel bags, especially during the lockdown. And then we haven't told you about our biggest success. Let's zoom out for a bit. SSU's field initiatives, such as working with the private sector at VTI level, work-based skilling, joint ventures and cooperation agreements have influenced policy and advocacy reforms. Yes, SSU successfully influenced the adoption of the 2019 TVET Policy and Council, transforming the Ugandan vocational training subsector into a demand-driven, private sector-led system. Not bad, eh? Huh? SSU is now recognized as a skilling flagship program by the Ugandan Ministry of Education and Sports and the international community, and more funding is put towards skilling. Because if we want to create a brighter future for Ugandan youth, we need to make sure they can work, and the clock is ticking. So what is next? The mandate of SSU for the next three years looks like this. First of all, SSU will transform partners into centers of vocational excellence. Second, SSU will create digital hubs and facilitate a digital transformation in the learning environment. Thirdly, the prevention of gender-based violence in schools and work environments will become a priority. Creating safe learning environments will be high on the agenda. Fourthly, SSU will contribute to the protection of the environment and the promotion of green jobs in a greener economy. And finally, 
SSU will further strengthen the involvement of private sector in the skilling process of Ugandan youth. All right, now we'll let you get back to your smartphones. But make sure to stay tuned for more good news.